Hey, Talia. Uh, big game on Friday. It's going to be a really loud atmosphere, a big atmosphere. Uh, your first really big one like that uh, as a Terp. Can you have to tell me what that's like? Um, yeah, I mean, I, it's going to be good. You know, we're facing a top 10 team, top 5 team, I think. And, um, you know, I know the fans are going to come out. And, um, you know, we just got to continue. I think the biggest thing for us is just continue to prepare and focus on what we need to focus on um, throughout the week. And, you know, doing what we continue to do. And, um, you know, I think everything will pay off on Saturday. So. Emily. Hey, Talia. Um, how, how much has your offensive line helped you and just given you more time um, to make decisions? And then this is very specific, but I feel like I remember you saying last year you were getting them donuts um, when you went. Is there anything this year or, or, is, or is that a last year thing? Um, yeah, last year I gave them donuts. Um, they were a very different group last year. And um, I think this year, um, the biggest thing for them, I think they very, they really matured and um, working hard. And, um, you know, our depth is real, you know, we don't have that much depth on our, on our O-line, but, you know, those guys work hard day in and day out. And um, I think now everyone and even themselves are seeing the results of you know what happens when they work. They, they work hard during the week. So I'm very appreciative, you know, from my, from my O-line and, um, you know, I, you're right, you know, I got to get back to treating them. So um, I think they want offensive line of the week or something like that. And um, yeah, I'm just happy for them, you know, finally the O-line gets some credit for, you know, some publicity for doing something like that. So, I mean, the sky's the limit for them. And, um, you know, every day we continue to push each other, they push me, you know, I push them. And um, yeah, I think we just got to continue to do that. Ryan. Uh, hey, Kalia, I just want to ask, uh, you threw to 12 different um, receivers last week. I just want to get your thoughts on how, how confident is it for you to be in the pocket and you have so many weapons around you? Um, you know, I'm, I'm very confident. And um, like I said, the, the biggest thing that makes me confident in those guys is what we do during the week. Um, you know, our, our receivers work hard and as well as our O-line. Um, you know, even though our depth is kind of iffy, we still have um, – you know, all line coming in and out rotating and stuff like that. So um, the biggest thing is them giving me time and, you know, the receivers making my job easier, even the running backs making my job easier um, to give them the ball and just me putting the ball in their hands and letting them go make plays. So, um, you know, we have great depth, as everyone knows, at the um, our receiver's position. And, um, yeah, the biggest thing is we just got to continue to work hard. Alex. Talia, a, a win this week uh, would be the, the first 5-0 and start for this program in 20 years. What, what would it mean to you to be a part of a team that would make that happen and to, to lead your guys to that? Um, you know, every, we try to look at, you know, everything as just trying to be a 1-0 at the end of the day. Um, but, you know, for, for the school, I mean, being 5-0, and that's, that's obviously a big blessing. And, um, I mean... Yeah, I think I think that'd be pretty cool. I mean, um, you know, we always want to go undefeated, um, whether it's five and zero, one and zero, whatever. But um, I think the biggest thing, if we want to accomplish things like that, it all starts in our preparation. So um, the biggest thing is just working hard in practice, focusing one day at a time, and um, you know, continuing to get in the film and working hard in practice. Hey, Talia. Um, Iowa's defense is, you know, elite all around, weapons all over the place. What have you seen from them on film, and how do you sort of try to start breaking them down a little bit? Um, yeah, like you said, you know, they have um, elite players all over the field, the corners, safeties, linebackers, and their D-line. Um, I think their coaches do a good job of mixing things up with their coverages and, and blitzes and stuff like that. Um, they're a very disciplined team, very sound. They're going to be where they're supposed to be. And, um, you know, breaking them down, I, I think um, my coach has helped me out, you know, with, with preparing for a team like that. Um, so, I mean, you know, I, I try to break them down. Like today or yet last night I watched just them in blue and silver personnel, 12 and 11 personnel. So I'm um, just taking it one day at a time, um, trying to, just study them more, get to see how their corners and, and how the whole defense plays more. And I'm trying to figure out the identity of them. So, um, I mean, we have our, our hands full this week, you know, with a good team. So, I think.
think my preparation that'll be that'll be good this week for me to be successful, or for our team to be successful on Saturday, on Friday. Yeah. So, Leah, this is the second Friday night game for you guys in a three-week span. Uh, what are some of the little things that you, you don't get with having that short work week that makes it maybe a little bit more of a challenge? And how does having played already in the conference on a Friday night help you this week in prepping for the Hawkeyes? Um, I think the biggest thing is uh, probably not having a day off after football, after our Saturday game. Um, you know, less time for our bodies to heal. And stuff like that um, but I think the good thing about it is you know like you said we already played a Friday night game and it was a, a night game as well away uh, um, you know I think our our team is you know gonna be well prepared to be in um, that atmosphere like that I think it's a blessing for us to play Iowa at home so you know we don't have to travel and stuff like that so uh, yeah Sean tell you back here um, there's going to be a lot of hype, whether you guys want it or not, around here, around the Big Ten, about this game on Friday night. And when you look at it, the un unbeaten records, prime time, Iowa coming here. Um, what kind of stage is this for you and your team? What kind of stage does this present you guys? Um, you know, we feel like it's a it's a big opportunity, you know, for our team and uh, for our, our program. And, um, you know, we just... At the end of the day, coach always talks about just keeping the main thing the main thing, and that's just you know focusing one day at a time. You know, obviously we're playing a great team in Iowa, um, but you know the biggest thing is preparation, and um, you know not really focusing on the, the outside things like the, the hype and um, every, the build up to all of this. Um, you know, just continuing to do what we've been doing and and getting better at the things that we need to get better on and. Um, just continue to work hard. Thanks, Talia. Thank you.